Welcome, welcome to Celebrate Aging. I'm Sandy Leah, your hostess today, sitting in for Vicki Marthaler, who is a little bit under the weather, unfortunately, but I cannot think of a better day to sit in and interview a lady who I have known for so many years and has been an inspiration in my life, I know, and in the lives of many. So please join me as I welcome Lee Ferber. Hi, Lee. Hello, Sandy. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, Emmanuel is so close to my heart, and you're a great part of it. Wow, thank you very much. I know you and I, we began uh, the same year at Emmanuel in 1973, and I actually rented an apartment from you. <laughs> um, and and um, I remember that, too. It was you know, you took care of not only the residents, but so many of the staff at Emanuel um, when you served as director of nursing, correct? Yeah, right. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, there, there were so many wonderful people that I worked with. That's what made the job so, uh, and I liked it so much because I had such a wonderful staff. Absolutely. Um, so you were director of nursing for how many years? And then I know you said you moved into... Yeah, I, another position. Well, I, the total years were 24, and okay. the first 10 or 12 years, I worked as the director of nursing, and then, and Charlotte Christensen was my assistant, and she was very capable, and and, um, and then they needed a someone to work more with families, social services. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I did that for the rest of my time there. Okay, so you weren't. You were like the social service director? Yeah. Okay. Desi yeah. So and, designee. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And so my right. biggest uh, uh, was to work with, the, work with the families, you know, to have them come in and feel as comfortable as possible about being there. That wasn't uh, many people really, you know, it's really difficult for some of these people to come to a nursing home. Um, they, don't, they have a lot of ideas about a nursing home that really isn't true sometimes. Absolutely. And I know um, one thing that you were telling me is you, Mr. Hillman asked you the question, if there was anything you could change, what would it be? Yeah. And what was that? Well, the one thing is a uh, private room for everyone. This double room was really, uh, uh, that was one of our biggest problems. Because one of the patients would want the TV on, one would want it off, one wants the windows open, one wants the windows Oh, sure. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, yeah. you know, it, it's hard to get two people in the same room, sharing the same room, living in the same room, that like exactly the same thing. Yeah, and they probably came from a, uh, from a, a, a living setting where they were alone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that, and, and then also I wanted to, so much to have a full-time chaplain and a, and a chapel. And all that was granted while I worked there. And so that was such a blessing. Okay, so um, before the chaplain came, how did they um, provide the service, the spiritual services for the residents? Because I know that that was an important um, part of of their living at Emmanuel. Yeah, well, the pastors, uh, the local pastors were wonderful about coming, mm -hmm. but they're so busy that they couldn't always come just as the people needed them. So having a full-time chaplain, and then we were blessed to have Pastor Halverson as our first chaplain, and he did such a good job, and now Vicki is just a super chaplain. So we've been really blessed with good chaplains. Yes. Well, we, we certainly have. And I remember um, also, well, I, I was there in 1973 and then left and came back in 1980. And I do remember um, when the chapel was built. And also, um, and that was under the direction of Mark Coplin. He was our administrator. Right. And then Pastor Arv came yes. as our first chaplain. That was wonderful. <clears throat> and, and of course, now we have Vicki, and so we have been so, so blessed um, with our, our chaplain services yeah. and being able to fulfill the spiritual needs of yeah. our residents. And it's so important because many of them are there their last days of their life. And what's more important than have a chaplain to be with them? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, through 
through not only the living but but the dying because that yeah. is part of life. So that's right. That's absolutely. Um, I know another um, one of the besides the rooms, the private rooms and the chapel. There was something else that you got going quite a few years ago, and um, maybe you can tell the story about the nurses and the pants. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, one morning it was about 40 below wind chill, and the girls were coming in so cold because they couldn't, they had to wear a skirt, they couldn't wear pants, just work. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I called Mr. Hillman and said, this is really ridiculous. We, these girls are so cold this morning, and is there any way they could start wearing pants to work? And uh, he said, okay, Lee, you go ahead and tell them <laughs> that they can wear pants. So, Amen. Yeah. Thank Lee for that one. <laughs> and I remember when I started working, too, <clears throat> back then, the nurses came in. I mean, I swear they had starched white crisp white uniforms. They always wore their hats yeah. and they always wore like support hose and their their nursing shoes. Yeah. Right. And they just look so clean and so professional. Yeah. Um but yet <clears throat> now we've changed that quite a bit. Yes. And um and and now um the gals are well even the, a lot of the nurses are wearing um well, some of them do wear the scrub tops, but yeah. then some dress in, um, some of the management dresses in the street clothes. Mm -hmm. um, so you see more scrub tops, but there's a lot of um, senior living facilities that are going more toward regular street clothes or, or more the khaki pants with the polo shirts and that type of a look rather than... Yeah, the professional yeah, look. Yeah. So anyway, it's getting more like um, home-like the environment right. rather than an institution. Is that is uh, that how you see it, sort of? Yes, right. It has mm -hmm. become more casual, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, some people like that, and probably some don't. But it's um, I uh, the, the heart of nursing is still is caring for the patients. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. as long as you continue to do that, really, really care for the patients with your whole heart, that's the important thing. Oh, and I, you know, I, I am so proud um, to say that I still work with, with Emanuel Nursing Home, which is celebrating their 50th. And of course now we, um, our whole campus is called Ecumen Detroit Lakes, Ecumen meaning home, and that is the organization that we work with, and it's just kind of, um, it, we haven't changed our mission, we've changed our name, basically. Okay, yeah. And so our mission is always the same. We create home for older adults wherever they choose to live. And as Lee said, it's, you know, the, the caring for the people, um, our services is really the heart of what we're all about. Um, yeah, and I've always liked the name Emmanuel because it means God with us. And yeah. you have to, mm -hmm. in order to have a good home for these people, you have to have a spiritual aspect of it too. And I would agree with that, Lee, yeah. and that's, that, is, that is so true. So, um, and I know you've seen throughout the years many, many, many changes. And there, we have one going on right now, just right above the hill, yeah. um, where Lee lives. And Lee, by the way, is living in the townhomes on our campus. Yes. So yeah. we are so lucky to still have her this close to us. <laughs> uh, it's just been a real joy to live here. I've been here for 14 years. They, they built these in 2000. And I, this is the first unit, and I was the first person in here. So 14 years, it's been a really good 14 years. So in 50 years, you have quite a history with Emanuel <laughs> and with Ecumen Detroit Lakes. And, and again, um, regardless of the services, and we are growing, we are adding services, we, we have excellent services, excellent staff, and our, our campus is absolutely beautiful. So if you haven't seen it, come and take a look. But 
um, the heart of what we do is all about caring for people. So, um, and with that said, I will thank Lee Ferber for joining me today. You are just a oh. wonderful person oh. and very special You are in my too, life very and special. And you do so much good work at Emanuel. So thank oh, you. Keep thank, it up. Thank you. I'm anxious to see the new, the new building finished now. Absolutely. And that'll be soon. Okay. So thank you for joining us as we continue to celebrate aging.